In this video, we will convert this particular LinkedIn ad to this. This is a tutorial on Neo Brutalism, and welcome to. So here we have a LinkedIn ad that we currently have. We also have some of the basic layouts that we did, some color palette on the right, what we are using, and some tints, and a shade of black, and also a DP. Also, we have a reference for Neo Brutalism. and uh, we will use this color palette as the reference which we have plotted so let us quickly begin let us take an artboard we will just put a background color based on the reference that we have created here we have few of the header layout that we are using along with the poor profile pic that we currently created we are just aligning it so that it looks visually appealing the goal of the entire exercise is not to uh, match the entire look and feel but also to make sure that the ux is consistent and uh, enhanced a little bit than what we have here we are defining grids so that we could arrange all the elements in such a way and we have also took some icons so we are currently trying to make the search bar intuitive and uh, we will show you how uh, uh, we can we can make multiple states in search bar and uh, we can eventually use the search bar in such a way that it auto animates we are placing the filter icon so now we are creating multiple states by defining component as you could see we have moved the search bar in such a way that once you click on search bar the button will act as a main button for search and it is moved to the right side also the placeholder that we have will be uh, converted to the device name that you could search in we'll also change the components property to the primary so now we have this two states we are just doing some minor adjustments in the background yeah as you can see the second state that we have created once you click so this is basically the normal state the default state so as you can see this is nothing but the default state and this is the final state that we have when it is filled so now we also need to uh, have a backtrack so that we go back to the previous uh, like the previous default state auto animate is a good uh, platform which will help you uh, like go from one state to another and will give you a good set of animations So now uh, as you could see there are multiple categories and there is add devices there is room so what we are thinking is we are having multiple rooms so we will have a drop down on top itself we are thinking of creating a minimal app so we don't need to navigate again to the second screen we are trying to utilize the first screen as this is not that complicated of a app so we are trying to minimize the entire steps and make sure that everything falls in place So here as you can see we have already added add room uh, we have added boxes for the later devices we are also fine tuning the add room button so that it doesn't get that much impact and also we will start uh, designing multiple appliances view also there is a add smart device in case if you want to trigger a new uh, device flow where you could configure the device to uh, this app and then use it later so we are just working on the add smart device button more to make sure that it is uh, uh, a little bit more aesthetically pleasing here 
here we are using an icon plugin which is very useful for us we are trying to recreate and adding uh, more icons into the entire boxes that we have created so few of the things that we uh, added are basically ceiling fans air cons led light coffee machine and so on so these are few of the appliances that we could find in a common room now uh, just what we are doing is we are trying to differentiate them and uh, create switches on top of them so that uh, we can differentiate between what is currently on and uh, what is not uh, uh, currently functioning so uh, we we currently use turn on but then i guess some other uh, things we can experiment because it is uh, having a lot of space so we swift, uh, switched it to off and uh, we also have a switch uh, which we use for on and off which is a radio button that we use radio button generally is a common thing here we have created uh, a few of the states where we have added a state where it becomes on and uh, once it is off it gets into a little light gray shade we are also creating a sub state in this case so now what we uh, what we came to know is uh, once it is on uh, now we can we can have a minor set of uh, animation a micro interaction for the same so for that we are just adding a micro interaction where the fan flips a little bit so as you could see a very minor micro interaction that we have given for the same so now we are creating multiple states for this and uh, the main purpose of this entire exercise is to go from frame a to frame b and uh, uh, show coders how uh, the entire interaction would turn up to be so as we saw in the second state we also have fan modes or fan speeds so we are trying to accomplish those with a uh, arrow button and a done button for the same so we are just trying to make sure that all the states are covered in this screen itself it's a expand and contract kind of view we are giving gradient so that uh, people are very clear on which uh, a gradient uh, which button is currently active and what gradient it will follow so now people would know that yeah we can uh, this entire uh, thing that is popped up where you could uh, uh, make sure that your uh, uh, fan settings are uh, uh, maybe uh, turned on or off and eventually you can set the fan speed from uh, five levels up down and a done button is provided so that the entire menu could compress and uh, go into a on state again so now we have three different uh, states that we have created we are just linking those in a case that uh, it becomes seamless and we already have components that we have we are just making sure that the components are kept in such a way that um, uh, it is like when you auto animate it it gets a seamless effect and an animation which will transit uh, transit from the top to below we are uh, uh, doing the opacity to zero and we are putting the layer behind everything so that it pops from behind and while you animate it comes directly similarly we are copying the same in the third frame so that the similar effect is done and we are keeping it at the back so now i as you can see uh, once you click on the box we have this seamless animation So here it is neo brutalism. If you like the animation and the process for the same, kindly share, subscribe, like and don't forget to press the bell icon.